So, Matt, you have kindly offered to explain to me what the latest is in the world of SGE, as we discussed a couple of weeks ago. There's been some announcements, I think. Yeah, so Google had their I.O. event uh, yesterday, so 14th of May, um, and SGE, now known as AI Overviews, was um, one of the big talking points, uh, unsurprisingly, and that's something that we sort of said last week. Um, so yeah, here's a couple of things, a couple of headlines that came from that. So as I said, the SGE is now known as AI Overviews, which sounds a bit nicer, or as you said, Rebecca, AIO, which is lovely. Um, and that has been rolled out in the US. Um, to what extent? I'm not sure, but certainly by the end of the week, from what I've read, it will be fully rolled out in the US and then rolled out across other regions across the world in the coming weeks and months. Um, so a couple of other things. Um, when we were testing it, certainly recently, um, the SGE results were, were appearing pretty much all the time. That's not going to happen, according to Google. We've got to take their word for it. Um, essentially, they have said pretty much word for word that if Google cannot add value by using an AI overview, then it won't appear. But we shall see because we've seen some funny results um, whilst we're testing it. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. I guess um, it also depends what they mean by add value, right? So there's an element of like add value to whom and in what way. Um, exactly. They've also said that Google Ads will still appear. Again, we don't know to what extent. Um, but I think they're right in saying in this that the types of queries where AI overviews appear, um, you wouldn't necessarily get an ad for that anyway, because they're sort of very informational searches. Um, and very complex searches so I think that's a, that's again something we'll look out for and, and some, something that the paid media team will be looking out for as well um the other thing as we kind of mentioned already is that AI overviews will show for medical financial and health queries so um wow. so yeah we'll have to we'll have to see what happens there I'm not sure I personally trust what uh, it says about me sort of searching any sort of health queries that I might have, but um, we'll it's have really to see, interesting because when we think about how we currently search on something like a medical issue, we don't just take the top result. We do make sure that we know where it's coming from. We like we check sources because there's a lot of wacky stuff out there. So it will be really interesting to see how how that works. Exactly, and and when we were testing it as well, that it was sourcing quite a lot of times for, from reddit and places like this sort of user generated content and yeah i don't know that that unsettles me so um we'll have to see yeah we'll have to see how that goes um certainly they've kind of gone back on what they said originally and that and that was that it wasn't going to show at all and that was about a year or so ago now they've obviously tested it in their eyes um and actually something that they've said is that um, they have actually had click, higher click-through rates through sort of what they called the link cards within the AI overview um, compared to traditional results. So again, we're going to have to take their word for it. Almost the the performance of of these AI overviews that they've seen within the last sort of year or so has been apparently better than than traditional results. So and because of that, they are you know rolling it out perhaps earlier than they probably would have done originally and introducing it to the likes of financial and health health uh, sectors so mm -hmm. so yeah it's an interesting one um the other one this is more for seos really but the other thing that was quite interesting is um, within google search console the platform that we use quite a lot for our reporting um and our research they're not going to separate um sort of traditional results with ao AI overview results either, um, which would be really helpful. That would be quite nice for us to dig into. But um, yeah, they're not doing that. I could kind of see why that might be a bit of a challenge for them to sort of work out. But hey, if Google have got the most cleverest people in the world, I'm sure they could do it. It might be something that we can, um, that that will roll out perhaps in the future, but it's certainly not on their uh, agenda at the moment. Um, so yeah, those were the sort of the, the main headlines. They they mentioned about some plans in the future as well with, with this, um, some quite exciting ones. The one that stood out for me was um, 
so Google Lens, I'm not sure if you've used it, Rebecca, but um, effectively at the moment you can search, you can, you know, get your camera a search for anything. It will recognize what you've taken a photo of and then it will produce a result. You're going to be able to do that through video soon. And um, so the example that they used was someone's uh, playing a record on a record player. The, the record player's arm was keep on falling off. Um, so someone videoed that and, and sort of asked it via voice like why is this happening and then um, the AI that appeared was um, a step-by-step -step guide bespoke to that search around um, how that how that sort of thing could be fixed Interesting. so that was cool um, but yeah there was all sorts of little things and pieces that uh, that they're going to be rolling out in the next few months or so but yeah so no no big surprises I don't think from from our perspective um, it'll be interesting to see how quickly it rolls out across the world, um, to what extent, you know, these sort of results will appear. Um, I've seen, again, I can't think of the statistic, but I've seen sort of around 20% around that, you know, this will be showing around 20% of the time, you know, when we were testing it, in some cases, it was about 70, 80%. So, yeah, so yeah that's, that's something that we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on as well. But yeah, exciting times. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for talking me through that, Matt. And I will um, look forward to hearing the next updates from you as well, as I'm sure we will see more happening soon. No worries.